Why don't more swimming pools have flow meters? If you watch a lot of my videos, you see them a lot and you hear me talk about them all the time, but you're thinking to yourself, you know, I don't have one on my pool and my neighbors don't have one. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a flow meter on a swimming pool. Do I really need one of these things? And the answer is, well, it kind of de it depends. You know, what kind of person are you? Um, are you a go by the rules kind of person or are you just, uh, you know, winging it by the seat of your pants kind of person? Because if you don't know the flow rate in your swimming pool, you're just winging it. You're just guessing as to, you know, how much filtration your pool is getting. And more importantly, you're guessing about things like how much flow you're sending through your filter. And you're thinking, yeah, flow through the filter, who cares? The pool pumps are really powerful, and especially new pool pumps. And people have a tendency to oversize them, you know, thinking that more is better when it comes to horsepower. When in, in reality is it's kind of the opposite when it comes to swimming pool filtration. People have big pool pumps Often they don't match proper filter sizes to them and they end up overdriving the filters. They end up exceeding them or even far exceeding the maximum design filtration rate that the filter can handle. This is especially true for sand filters. Sand filters have a notoriously low maximum design filtration rate. And if you have any kind of, you know, one and a half horsepower or larger, forget about the two and three horsepower models, you're probably going to be blowing the doors off of your sand filter. You didn't know, you know, nobody told you, you don't have a flow meter you didn't realize. And that's kind of one of the disadvantages is if you don't have one. So the reason why most pools don't have them in the residential market they just didn't need them. You know, people don't really measure the, their filtration properly in terms of how much volume they're putting through the filtration system every day. And that's kind of how you're supposed to do it, but that's not how they do it. You know, the measuring stick is more like, is the pool clear when I want to go swimming? Well, then I don't have a problem with it. And the reality is, is that you could be well undershooting your filtration targets. And, you know, the pool is more or less green. Maybe you use quite a bit more chlorine than you could be using, but you didn't necessarily notice that. So, you know, that's kind of what ends up happening without flow meters is people kind of ballpark it. Some people way overshoot and overspend on their electricity for their filtration pump. And some people just don't run their pump enough and they, they come in way under the filtration values that they should be aiming for. Uh, which gets me to an important point, what are the filtration values you should be aiming for? The goal is to filter all of your water. Sounds simple enough, but the water doesn't just line up in front of the suction and returns. And so what you end up having to do is you have to pump at minimum three times the volume of your pool every day through your filtration system. And that's going to net you about 95% of all of the water in your pool. Uh, to strict commercial standards, you might even see four turnovers per day, which would equal about 98% of all the water in the pool being filtered at least one time. And if you're undershooting, like a lot of people are with, with residential pools, what ends up happening is you could maybe turn over the volume in your pool a single time. That would only be maybe 63% of all of the water in your pool getting filtered. So you missed a lot. And hopefully there was nothing really insidious in that stuff that you missed. And also hopefully you've maintained a free chlorine level so that any swimmers would be protected in the water. And this is kind of the thing is this, this whole thing kind of works together with filtration systems and flow rates. And when you don't know the flow, you're really in the dark. And I think that with variable speed pumps becoming more popular, we're going to see a huge surge of flow meters on the residential swimming pool market. And it's really gonna enable pool owners to know what's going on with flow, and more importantly, how to maximize flow to their benefit to the extent that you wanna get enough to keep your water clean, but you don't wanna overpay for your filtration by one more cent than you have to pay because it costs a lot of money to maintain a swimming pool. And so this is what I think moving forward is that flow meters is something we're gonna see more of. You might not see a lot of them now, but it's okay to be at the front of the wave with this and be the first person getting a flow meter so you can know how much you're filtering your pool water. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.